Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to another edition of Westbridge Hills. All right, that was really loud. Whew. Better be careful. Anyways, if you recall from the previous episode, we were uh, finishing up with the straw on this field. And as you can see, we have a few bales around here and we need to pick them up somehow. Uh, so I have the front loader there and we have a couple of options. We could get the Flygel bale trailer, the transport bales. Uh, we could probably get this, but I don't honestly think we have a tractor that's powerful enough to pull all those bales. Uh, so we can go with this, which is 12,000. I actually have a mod f uh, already that's for baling. Uh, this is the BM modding trailer. It's 18,000, which is actually more money than I want to spend at the moment. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get the in-game one. Uh, we'll give it a go at the very least. It's only 12 grand. Uh, thank you. My purchase... So, if we want to reset it, uh, we want uh, this right here. Let's reset the tool right there. Cool. And what we'll do is we'll get this guy right here, and we'll pick up the trailer right from here, and we'll go pick up some bales. So, I have done very little bale picking upping. <laughs> Handling, I guess I'll call it. That will make more sense than picking upping. Is there any information about this? No. So, you just drive. Alright. Makes my life simple. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up some of these square bales here and see how this works with this. Uh, this should be fine. I don't I have any... I don't know why it wouldn't work, but we're gonna find out because I have not handled bales that much in this. Uh, this seems like a good place to start. There's a big collection of bales right here. So let's hop over to this guy, and I'll show you how it works. So I have to get used to the controls a little bit here um, because it's not as natural as I want. So right now I have it set so it's up, goes up, down, goes down. Left tilts it down, right tilts it up. Okay. So let's see. So now, remember how it used to be where you would have to, like, lock the bale? So if I lower this down, like so and I drive into the bale like that. There, it's attached now. That's all, that's all you have to do. Uh, and see how it's staying on there? It chips around a little bit, but it's not a not a perfect system, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was before, that's for sure. Uh, I have a little weight in the back here too. Uh, as you can see, you're, if you decide to do what I just did there and move around with uh, the bale up like that, it will actually make your uh, tractor move around a little bit. So if I lower it down and tilt that down, it should come off. There we go. That's it. So this actually, the bale handling in this is a lot better than it was for 2013. Like it's crazy. All I need to do is drive into the bale and lift it up. Uh, it's a lot closer to what it's like in real life, which is really nice because now you can just do what you want to do with it. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to get all crazy and get all frustrated as much. It's a lot nicer than it used to be. But you can actually, you can move, touch the bale and move it a little bit. Uh, not as much as I thought you'd be able to. So let's see. So you can actually slide the bale on there. That's kind of interesting. There you go. So that's how easy it is to handle bales in in 2015, actually. I know TCGG Rob did a little video on, uh, oops, helps when you uh, bring your forks down. TCGG Rob did a little uh, video on handling bales because he te tends to do a lot of that in, um, in farming sim. Not necessarily with big squares, but with uh, rounds, which I think this trailer is actually meant for rounds, but whatever. I decided to use a square baler, so. Uh, the one thing I wish you could do is you could wish you could shift in your seat a little bit. So right now, like, for me to see how close that bale is, I ha would have to, like, get out of my tractor and, well, or, like, shift around a little bit. And in real life, I would probably do this. And you can't, wow, you can't actually do that. That's awesome. Because uh, in real life, what you'd probably want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that they're tight up against each other so that when you go and move around, they're not going to shift too much. Like, that's a little far away from each other, unfortunately. Um, but not terrible. I have to be, <laughs> I have to think about where I'm tilting the actual handle, 
uh, the veil itself. Ooh, that's interesting. I have to be careful as to how I'm moving the actual front arm, uh, front rollers a little bit, um, just because the way you tilt it one way doesn't necessarily make sense all the time for me, at least. I think it was actually reversed in Farm Sim 2013, and that's why I'm finding it strange. Uh, let's go a little bit further, and a little bit further. Can I lower the bale still? Why? What is it attached to? Hmm, it seems like... No, okay. I thought, um, so if you look right here, let's go around here. See this little pole right here? I thought that would actually be collidable and I could, you know, put the bale down and actually get, have it pull off with that, but it doesn't appear to work that way, so. It's a bit unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world, that's for sure. All right, let's get this last little bale over here. So as you can see, it's pretty, there's no locking needed, which is really nice. Uh, that was one of the biggest problems uh, with 2013 was you always needed, constantly needed to uh, to lock the bales in place for it to work properly, so. But with this, you just run into a bale and lift it up and that's all you gotta do. Uh, the real question is going to be, how is it going to handle when there are two bales stacked on top of each other? So let's give that a go, actually. I'm kind of curious as to how this is going to work. Um, based on what I'm seeing so far... Ooh, that's probably a little too far. Uh, based on what I've seen so far, it seems like it's pretty good. So there's two bales on top of each other. Okay. Let's see how this works. So I'm going to drive over to another spot here and see how these bales stay in place. Hey, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. I w thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. I thought they were going to shift around. Like, you get so used to 2013 that moving bales around becomes a chore uh, in 2013 sometimes. Whereas this is... I'm... Oh, forgot one. I'm delightfully surprised, let me just tell you that. I know people who like handling bales like TCGG Rob, uh, Scottish Gaming Guys, anybody who's done any bailing in 2013 is going to be pleased with the way these bales react now. Because they are not nearly as frustrating as they used to be. Uh, back in the day when you used to try and move bales around, it was just a pain. Uh, it was like something that you just didn't want to do. And it became like a badge of honor when you were able to handle uh, a bale without losing your mind whereas with this it's a lot more it's more of a you know it's actually not bad I'm not gonna lie to you um, you do have to be careful as to how you stack things still but uh, it's uh, not terrible at all actually uh, the biggest thing you need to remember really is just where your forks are basically uh, and as you can see like I'm pushing the bale there and uh, it works out really nicely. I have to say I'm extremely pleased. And I imagine those people, like I said, who do stack pails perhaps in real life or, or in the game are going to be pleased because uh, that is much nicer than it was before. I'll, I, I can't even believe how much nicer it is. Like, it's just crazy. I have to get used to where the f <laughs> to where the forks actually are because if you look carefully, um, you can kind of see them, but only if you position them in a certain way. So I have to at least uh, pay attention to where they are. Uh, but it's nice because you can just run up to your bale and just pick it up like I did there, which is really cool actually. And they stay on relatively well. They just kind of move around a little bit, but, uh, whoops. I can live with that. It's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's see if I can get that. Let's see if I can actually get this properly on here. Uh, but yeah, this is way, way better. Um, I'm blown away, actually how much easier it is to handle the bales. Um, just, you run into them like you would in real life and you pick them up. And it, it actually moves around a little bit. You can stack them on top of each other. 
it's it's like night and day actually it's I'm very surprised as to how much easier and how not how much this isn't a pain in comparison to the way it was before I think some people might who tried to do it before in 2013 uh, would will probably have uh, will probably enjoy themselves with this quite a bit because I haven't I haven't messed around with squares so much or with yeah I guess I haven't messed around with squares too much uh, did a little bit with rounds before and very pleased uh, rounds the same way now the question is how is, is the tractor going to be able to handle all this uh, it is that's truly really impressive oh, I think this just trailer is definitely made for round bales but doesn't seem to be having a problem holding squares either. So, perhaps locking scripts are not ne needed anymore. It's really hard to tell. Maybe actually using small squares and stuff like that won't be as bad. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Uh, what 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 uh, what will happen? Like they definitely uh, giants actually definitely upped their game, um, so to speak, for this particular game they did a lot of a lot of really good things and I'm really pleased so far uh, for those people who can't play the game yet I kind of feel bad because they're missing out right now uh, I know there are a couple people who have uh, um, Mac computers for example uh, as far as I know it's a um, if you have a Mac computer and you bought farm sim on the Mac whoops you have to wait like it's longer a lot longer than I thought it was going to be it's like a month or something. I thought maybe a, a day or something, but as far as I know. Let's see if we can do this. Look at that. That is awesome. I can't believe I was able to do that. Um, probably would have ruined the veil, mind you, but... So there's so much realism you can get into the game, I suppose, but... Yeah, so those people on Mac probably are having a, just a heck of a time. Uh, probably not very pleased at the moment, but nothing really, really they can do about it. Uh, so, that sucks. Wow, this is... I'm extremely pleased how easy this is. I honestly expected this to go a lot worse, but it's actually not that bad to do this. Um, it would be even better with a telehandle. Because then you can just reach right across to the other side, but I uh, I wish I could kind of like scooch over and be like, oh, what's going on over there? Um, but say la vie, I suppose. Oh, it, they are bounced around a little bit there. Hmm, interesting. So once I. Not terrible. I wonder if I can actually jump up on here. Oh, I can. Hmm. They look pretty good, actually. Let's see what happens when I move it around this time. Nothing? Something? We'll see. It doesn't help when you screw up the stack, but... I am delightfully surprised. Let me tell you that much. Now, I do have to be careful because I suppose if I go too quickly, uh, they will fall off still. But overall, like, I, uh, really surprised. Hmm. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab, uh, finish grabbing the rest of these bales here, and then we're going to try and give our cows a little bit of feed. So we have 30,000. So what we can do is we'll be able to give them a little bit of straw, hopefully, at the very least. And then maybe what we'll be able to do is get some milk coming. Uh, because at the moment we don't have any milk at all, and we don't have any productivity at all, despite the fact we have cows. Technically, even though it's been, this will be what, episode number three, I guess? Um, technically, it's only been a day in game, so I'm not that worried about it, but whoops, where am I going here? Might as well grab this one over here. I'm not that worried about it, but I do want to hopefully feed the cows at some point. 
Alright. I love how you can just drive into them now. That's awesome. Uh, I was able to do that before with the... It was the... Whoops. With the WIFA, I think it was called. Uh, front loader. But, uh... The fact that this is in-game and I can do this is awesome. I am really pleased. Well, I have a feeling that one bale might fall off, but we are going to find out, that's for sure. Now, I have two stacks on here, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get three. We are definitely going to find out. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three... We only have a few bales left, so maybe what we will try is get a third stack on here. That's not too bad. It would be nice if you could kind of look to the right and look to the left a little bit. Uh, but I can live without it. It's not the end of the world. And... There you go. Look at that. That's awesome. I'm doing a poor job of stacking them, but... They are actually staying there. They're staying put, which is great. Normally what would happen is if you actually got on top of the bales like this, you would make them bug out like crazy. Hmm. Pardon me while I get a sip of water here. Hmm. So good. All right, we got one, two, three, three bales left. Four bales, there's one on our side there too. All right. I wonder how often, uh, Rob's going to be stacking, or TCG Rob, sorry, it's going to be stacking bales now. Knowing how good it is to stack bales in comparison to what it used to be like. Uh, what the heck is that? Oh, it's from the... That little triangle's from the windshield washer. That's a bit strange. What happened to the bale? Did it really just fall off when it got out of the tractor? Ooh, that's interesting. So there we go, we have the bale. Hmm. That was strange. Alright, let's put this last few bales on here, and then we'll truck this down to the... Oh, they do fall. Oh, that's interesting. So if you turn too quickly like that I just did there, they will actually fall off. Huh. Makes sense. Although I can't lift this bale any higher. Or can I? Yes, I can. Stick it on the end here. Turn it down. Actually, it's funny, you have to concentrate a little bit still. <laughs> it's easier now, but you still have to pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, because if you don't, of course, you're going to make a mistake. Uh, which is, you know, always possible. But the fact that you can just run straight into a bale and just do that. That was a terrible job of picking it up, but the fact that you can do that is pretty impressive. You do have to be careful how fast you turn, like you would in real life, because uh, the bales do slide off your forks, as I just showed you, apparently. Alright, let's see here. Let's see if we can't get this right in that little spot right there. And then maybe... Can you actually adjust bales, too? Is that what's happening? Oops, careful, careful. It looks like I uh, you can actually adjust bales to a certain extent. All right, let's lower it down. Nope. Didn't lower it quite enough, apparently. Other way. Yeah, looks like you can actually adjust bales. Let's see if we can actually adjust this bale right here and push it in a little bit. Let's just see. You can, but you have to be careful, it looks like. That is too cool. Huh. Really impressed by that. Normally, if you kind of fit around like that with the uh, 2013, it would totally, totally just go all over the place and be ridiculous. But that is extremely good. <laughs> I am very, very pleased. Um, I did not like moving bales before. I started to like it a bit more close to the end, but not a crazy amount. But now it's not... Uh, not so much of a chore. There we go, back up there. <laughs> I can't believe that. It actually, they appear to actually work like a real bale. 
which is amazing. Maybe not 100%, but considering it's a game and how much of an improvement that is over the old style, I couldn't care less how much unrealistic they are now in comparison to what they were before. Like, you really gotta take that into consideration. Look at the way they are now in comparison to the way they were before. This is, like I said, night and day. Very pleased. There you go. Question is, are those gonna stay on there? All right, so the cows, where are they? They are south, so what I'm gonna do is gonna set this so it's nice slow cruise control so I don't go crazy. Maybe 15, there we go. And they appear to be staying on considering how terrible of a stack I did there. But look at that, that is amazing. They are shuffling a little bit. You can see that one on the right hand side moving, but not like, I don't know, not, not so much that's falling off, but just enough. Also, these cars will actually stop. So if I drive in front of this car, he should just stop and not run into me, which is nice. Did I really stack that last a little bit that badly? <laughs> Apparently I did, jeez. All right, let's continue. I don't see any bales falling, so that's good. I am really pleased. They did. A, they appear to have done a really good job so far with the way, uh, the way the engine's working. It's not, the bales aren't jumping all over the place. The bales are staying where you put them, even if you do a terrible job like I did there they will still stay for the most part they are you can see them shifting a little bit and it appears to be from the twist and torque of the trailer itself but for the most part that's impressive extremely impressive so we have cows here we do need a bale shredder now uh, so what I'll probably do is pick up a bale shredder in a moment Crazy. I can't believe how much they're actually staying there. Oh, uh, let's do this here. Alright, now, if I just get over here. That's awesome. Look at that. They stayed the whole way. I know, I was being conservative and drove slowly, but still. The fact that they stayed there is fantastic. Sorry, that's me being all like, whoa. Uh, so we could get this, which is 39. No, we can't get that. This machine takes straw bales and uses them to cover the ground. So we need one of those. All right. And what we'll do is bring that to... Uh, we'll reset that. Yes. Okay. And we'll grab it with this guy here. I don't know if we actually need the weight on or not, but what we'll do is we'll leave the weight here, and then if we really, really need a weight, the case has got a weight over there already, so. So let's change the selection to the back here, and just drop it right there, and then go from there. It seems like you might need a weight for it, uh, for handling those bales, because they are fairly large. So this is, the Kuhn Primor 3570. Looks pretty good, actually. Looks a lot like the one that uh, LS Lux Farming did. Uh, well, maybe not, actually, because this one has wheels. The Lux Farming one did not. All right, let's see. Open door. Oops. Oh. Looks like it's meant for rounds, though. I'm sure it'll work with the other ones, but... Sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and shred some bales. And what I should do after this is, uh, what I should get the should get the case to start doing is cultivating actually, because we need to seed that field again. Actually, we should I should have got him seeding. Wow, look at this! It's having trouble getting up the hill. It's only a seventy-five horsepower tractor, but 
guess that's the reason why. The, the hydraulics on the actual tractor itself don't seem to have any problem with... Um, though it doesn't appear to have any problem with the bales itself. Like, they're able to pick them up really easily, so... Which is good. I totally thought it was not going to be that easily. Easy to do that, but... As you saw. So that is their field we own right there. Oh no, is it? No. <laughs> it's like, that looks awfully big. Alright, let's see how this works. I'm kind of curious. I don't think it's any different than what it used to be, but I'm just curious to see how well it works. Ooh, apparently that's right in the way of the cars. So, let's come around here. Drop that down. And cars have decided to get in my way. Alright, so that's interesting. They come along here. That's Why do they come along here? I don't know. That's funny. You can actually see it. Watch this. If I, you can see the back of the tractor actually get lower down to the ground when you pull it. That's awesome. And I don't know what's going to happen when I detach that. Nothing. Just <laughs> not what I expected to happen, actually. I totally expect that to go and just explode, but that's really interesting. They've definitely done some major improvements to the engine itself. Very pleased. Alright, let's grab one of these bales up here. Alright. Uh, am I going to be able to... Oh. You can see them bouncing there a little bit. Sure, now that I'm starting to look up that they're not. <laughs> it might, I think it's this front loader because I noticed this when it was close to the header trailer, it did like the same thing. It did like a weird, oh, I don't think I can. Yeah, this is a situation where a telehandle would work just a wee bit better. Alright, let's grab the one below it then. Cows still sound like cows. Let's see if we can turn this back. Apparently I cannot pick two bales up at a time. Makes sense. Huh. But you can see like the back of the track. Oh, it was lifting up there. Doesn't like me doing that. Okay. There we go. So let's grab the last one on the end here. That's pretty interesting, though. It's interesting to see that, like how the how the things how it has changed. Because before, it would make no difference. Yes, you definitely need to wait. Um, I wasn't sure whether you needed one or not, uh, but that goes to show you that you definitely need to wait with these bales because. Uh, this will it will not like it without with a weight without a weight on it I can't even pick up the bales so 75 horsepower tractor while it can pick up the bales you need a weight um, which makes sense honestly because these bales are a few thousand liters there we go let's see how it handles the bale now so Let's lower it down. Let's see. Yep, that's what it is. Hmm. Very interesting to see how like some of those little small things have changed. Now, I don't know how this is going to work because I don't think this is meant for... Uh... Hmm. Maybe if I back this up a little bit. Perhaps not the best way of going about it, but... Huh, interesting. I wonder why... Hmm. Well, there it goes. Let's see what happens. All right, so we oh we do have a bale hay in there, straw. So it does appear to uh, recognize that it's in there. So let's see what happens when you close it. Doesn't like it. 
So, let's see what happens when I go over to... I don't know where this straw is supposed to be. What does the liquid poo like look like? It looks like liquid poo. Or slurry. Alright, so let's see what happens. I'm going to close the back door here. It doesn't like that, no. Oof, can you see it shaking there? Oh, it doesn't like that at all. No, doesn't like. I have to pay attention. <clears throat> I have to pay attention to the bottom left hand, right hand side of the screen because I'm used to seeing it like a lot more prominent. Uh, the unload button. Where the heck is it? Maybe I need to open the door first. Doesn't seem like you would have to, but maybe you do. No, nope, doesn't like that. All right, let's try the other side and turn it around and see maybe that's the reason why it's not gonna feed the cows or give it to the cows. Yeah, that's what it was. All right, so. Hey, that's pretty cool, look at that. It's chopping the bale up there. That is a really cool graphic, look at that. It doesn't like them, the square bales it looks like, but it works. Interesting, so let's check out the statistics now. So now they have 4,000 liters of straw. So each bale is 4,000 liters, so they're about 2,000 liters smaller than the big, uh, or the extreme bale impact ones, it looks like. I could do without traffic, but whatever. Anyways, folks, that's it for today. My name's Ian Robson, this has been 20, <laughs> this has been 20. This has been Farming Simulator 2015, coming at you from Westbridge Hills. Catch you guys later.